Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to look at the issues and challenges in the urban development in India. So basically, we are going to look at the issues in the urban development, why urban development is not happening or what are the challenges which the urban area is facing. Before starting, we should know what is urbanization or what are urban areas. Now, urbanization is where urbanization takes place when places develop due to concentration of small, medium and heavy industries or concentration of banking and other financial institutions or when institutes of higher studies etc come and they set up their institutes there. So when all of this happens, what happens? Migration of people take place and when people migrate, people live there and thus we call it an urbanization which means that growth of an urban city. The migration which takes place, then it takes place because of the factors. Now those factors are push and pull factors. The push factors are those which pushes you. Okay. And pull factors are those which attracts you. So push factors can be lack of jobs or lack of educational facilities or lack of healthcare facilities. Whereas pull factors which attracts you are availability of jobs or better healthcare facilities or better educational facilities etc or better housing facilities etc. Now because of push and pull factors the growth of urbanization takes place. So if pull factors are better then you are more likely to go there to the urban areas and thus when you migrate to newer areas when population increase that area develops into an urban areas. Now the key thing here is when urbanization takes place there is a change in density of population. So population of the area where people go increases, the population density increases, whereas the population density of the area from where people are living decreases. Okay, so it leads to change in population density of places within the country itself. So when it takes place in urban area, we call it urban population density. Now we will look at key challenges and problems in the urban development in India of when urban development took place, what kind of problems emerged? First is housing and development of slum. A vast majority of urban population in India lives in congested and small houses with little facilities, which means that they don't have access to clean water, clean drinking water, or they don't have access to sufficient water to meet their uh, domestic needs. They don't have proper ventilation at their home because of their congested housing system, they don't have proper drainage system. With rapid growth of population and the rapid rise in the income as well as the cost of living in cities, the cost of housing has also risen. Now because of this, the people are not able to purchase such houses and because of that people live in rented accommodation. But what about those who are poor or are in the verge of falling into the trap of poverty? So these people live in slum which are usually situated in the outskirts of cities due to and this is also because of the shortage of affordable houses. So when shortage of affordable houses is there and the cost of housing are increasing, are increasing, the cost are increasing then poor people live in the slum. They prefer to live in slum. There are uh, more reasons as well like they want to save their income so that they can feed their families and that's why they prefer to living in live in slum now with the growth of slum the city uh, so slum is the major problem in is one of the major problem in cities because it creates numerous problem like crime okay it creates uh, like crime rates are also high in areas which are situated near slums then you have health care issues educational issues etc further Poor access to microfinance and mortgage institutions limit the abil ability of the low income groups to buy or improve their homes. Second is planning. Many urban government lack a modern planning framework and it has led to unplanned expansion of cities, narrower roads, traffic congestion in cities, water logging etc. Now this is because of the rigid master plans of the cities and the restrictive zoning regulation, zoning regulations which has limited the land available for commercial purposes as well as for the building purpose. The local governments are also not able to generate sufficient revenues from the local sources for the maintenance of existing infrastructure and so the condition of the existing infrastructure remains 
poor and this creates further problems. There is also a lack of human resource for undertaking planning of the cities at both state and national level and because of that most of the cities in India are unplanned. You can take the example of Bangalore. Bangalore is an unplanned city and it is continuously expanding but the problems are traffic congestion, water logging and when heavy rain takes place the because of the improper maintenance of drainage system water remains on the roads and so traffic congestion again take place and people houses are also flooded with water thus unplanned cities is also one of the major problem of urbanization or key challenge to urbanization third is sanitation the proper uh, sanitation condition in urban areas and particularly in the slums and unauthorized colonies are not there so there is a poor sanitation conditions so the urban areas especially the slum and the outskirts of cities as well as the unauthorized colonies have poor sanitation condition the drainage system there are not properly managed which results in blockage of wastewater and during rainy season this creates various problems secondly unsafe garbage disposal is also one of the critical problem because the uh, disposal in the urban areas become a key challenge because of the lesser land available thus garbage management remained a major challenge due to lack of space in the outskirts the garbage are usually disposed in the urban areas because in the city facilities are not available so the entire city garbage is disposed in the outskirts of cities now this creates various healthcare problems and one of the major reason is the resource crunch because the municipalities and local bodies don't have sufficient finances they are not able to process the garbage they are not able to segregate the garbage they are not able to dispose it in an eco-friendly manner and because of that uh, they have to dispose it second thing is that most of the cities in india have proper sewerage system but not all the cities so not all cities are having but most of the cities are having or you can say that very few cities in india have proper sewerage system not all cities have sewerage treatment plant and a proper drainage system now because of that the wastewater is not properly treated it is not properly used and also pose poses a, a major challenge because this untreated sewage is disposed in nearby lakes rivers etc which further contaminates the water then is availability of water a committee was set up which was zakaria committee as per the zakaria committee recommendation the water requirement per head per day is 204 liters for cities where population is between 5 lakh to 2 million which is 5 lakh to 20 lakhs and the water requirement will be 272 liters for cities where population is more than 2 million per head per day so 270 liters per head per day water requirement in the places where population is more than 2 million but the issue in india is that because of the ever growing population and limited source of uh, water uh, drinking water the the requirement of the minimum water per day is not met and people have to meet their needs with little amount of water they have and that's why india is right now in the water stressed condition the safe drinking water is not available because the major sources of water in India are already contaminated. You can take the example of Ganga River, you can take the example of Yamuna River or you can take the example of the nearby lakes and rivers. So you can see that most of them are contaminated. The garbages are disposed there. In most of the cities, sewer lines and water lines are laid in close proximity with each other. And when, either, when, when leakage takes place in either of the line, the water main water line gets contaminated and when it gets contaminated the same water go use is used for drinking purpose thus availability of safe drinking water is also a major concern in cities then comes urban pollution this is in news and you have seen that number of questions were asked regarding the problem of urban pollution because there is deterioration of urban environment in throughout the India and this is affecting the health of the people, the productivity of the people and is diminishing or reducing their quality of life. So the standard of life or the standard of quality or the quality of life which people thought they will get while moving to cities is not fulfilled because of rising urban pollution and unsafe uh, or you can say that uh, drinking water which is not clean. 
Unplanned growth and rapid expansion has led to diversion of agriculture and forest land for commercial purposes like for building purpose etc. Now this has led to severe biological diversity loss, so loss of biolog biological diversity and environmental degradation. Because of that, that urban pollution is rising because and the CO2 level in the urban areas are also high. So you can take the example of Delhi and Bangalore where people are more prone to allergies and respiratory problems and we usually, when we usually see that in winters people mostly uh, have issues uh, so they have respiratory issues if uh, especially in Delhi region because in winter pollution is high in Delhi. In Delhi pollution in winter has led to closure of schools and colleges in the past and we have seen that schools and colleges were closed because of the deterioration of the air quality. So these were few of the problems which urban areas face. Now let us look at few questions. Question first, which among the following is not a cause of growth of cities? So you have to choose out of these four options, which among them does not causes the growth of cities. Here the fourth will be, the option D is right, which is hygienic outlook of people. Because the first three directly aids the growth of cities or concentration of these three will lead to growth of cities. Second is, which of the following refers to number of people in an urban area per square kilometer? Here the correct will be urban density, not the urban population but the urban density because it is asking number of people in an urban area per square kilometer and population density or the density is calculated in per square kilometer. Thank you.